Hello, I'm Mike with Mystic Barrels. Today we wanted to quickly show you how to remove the hoops from your whiskey or wine barrel. You may want to do this prior to sanding your barrel or if you want to paint the hoops of the barrel. If you wish to remove the hoops, you will need a hammer, flat chisel or punch, and some pliers. Before getting started, number each of the hoops. That way you'll know which hoop goes where whenever you go to add them back on. For the wine barrels, there are usually some hoop nails helping to hold the hoops to the barrel. First, we need to remove these hoop nails. You can help loosen the nails by giving the hoop a tap upward and downward as shown. Pliers may also help to twist the nail loose. Ultimately, you'll want to be able to get the claw of the hammer behind the nail and pull it out just as you would any other nail. Repeat the same step for each of the interior hoops. Do not remove the top and bottom hoops of the barrel. This will cause the entire barrel to collapse. Once the hoop nails are removed from the interior hoops, tap the hoops as shown towards the closest end of the barrel to loosen the hoops and ultimately remove them. For whiskey barrels, the process of removing the hoops is similar, except there usually aren't any hoop nails and the hoops are usually much, much tighter on the barrel. To remove the whiskey barrel hoops, you will need a sledgehammer and a chisel with a flat end. Using the chisel and hammer, work your way around the entire barrel, tapping the hoops downward, slowly loosening each of the hoops. Because the whiskey barrel hoops are so tight, I would recommend working downwards, first removing the bottom two hoops, and then flipping the barrel upside down to remove the other two hoops. To keep the hoops from getting bound up, make sure you hit the hoops with an even force all the way around the barrel. Eventually, the hoops will fall to the ground. To add the barrel hoops back onto the barrel, first align the rivets of the hoop with the rivets of the top hoop and the bottom hoop of the barrel that you left on. That should also align with the bung hole of the barrel. Next, take your flat chisel and tap the hoop around the entire barrel to seat it into place. For the wine barrels, this step may be sufficient to locate the barrel hoop back into its original position. For the whiskey barrels, you may remember how tightly secured the barrel hoops were onto the barrel. We'll need to use the chisel with a flat end and our sledgehammer to relocate that hoop back into its original position. Using the chisel and hammer, work your way around the barrel while evenly tapping the hoop back into its original position. As the hoop gets tighter, you'll need to use an increasing amount of force with the hammer and chisel until the hoop is back in its original position. If you're looking to remove one of the heads of your barrel, you'll need to remove the top two or three hoops or bands. This will allow enough space for the groove in the stave to release the barrel head. After removing the hoops, tap the staves outwards around the rim of the barrel, and then tap the barrel head downward around the perimeter until the head falls to the bottom. If the head is not releasing from the staves, you may need to remove or loosen an additional lower hoop. Once the head falls to the bottom, reach down and grab the head to remove it. It may be a tight fit to pull the head through the rim of the barrel. If needed, bend or separate the head into multiple pieces to remove it. After removing the barrel head, you can reinstall the hoops onto the barrel as previously described in this video. All set. Thanks for watching.